Good evening folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So I'm in the man cave this evening, just faffing around, having a bit of a tidy up, or at least trying to tidy up. I had stuff everywhere and it was just getting me down really, so um, I just thought I'd take a couple of evenings out just to try and tidy things up. And I also thought I'd take this opportunity to share with you um, an item or a couple of items more accurately which I recently purchased um, imported them and uh, yeah it's something which I've been quite intrigued about for a while now and I've been following this particular item on one of my wish lists and it came on sale so I just took the opportunity to buy a couple just have a bit of a play with them really just to see what it's all about anyway that's the intriguing bit so I'll reset the camera and I'll get back to you so as I say, you know, I've obviously already and done this package and the reason being I just wanted to charge up the items in question. So as you can see it's obviously something which is connected to um, a USB. Two of those. And you're thinking, oh, the caveman's got another torch. And you'd be, well, the answer is yes and no. I suppose they are torches after a fashion, but they're actually lasers. So I've been quite intrigued about these for a while now. And um, as I say, I, uh, I've got a wish list on a particular website and I just thought I'd take the opportunity to uh, just to buy one but because the price was so good I thought you know what I'll buy two reason being that um, it cuts down on the import costs in fact actually I say that I mean um, these were delivered free they cost peanuts really and I think it they're probably a very decent product for the price I paid for them and I just thought I'd show you them really and also to take some footage just to show them in action so anyway look um, I have actually charged them now you can buy ones which are uh, you know you've got rechargeable batteries like this and you charge them via a USB so I've been using one of these lot and I've bought you know three or four cables as well actually whereby you know they've got little magnets on the end I'm not really quite sure it looks like I've got a bit of wire stuck on there look <laughs> anyway get rid of that so what you've got there this is a 303 laser they're very powerful now you can buy these lasers and they emit different colored lasers. Now this is a class three laser and it has a green beam, a green laser beam. Now these are very strong and I'll put these specifications on the screen. Now I believe it's legal to actually retail these in the UK because these are five megawatt lasers but it's not illegal to import them, which is all rather bizarre, isn't it? But anyway, so I ordered them really, not because I had anything particular in mind, but just because they came up. The price was brilliant. And, you know, I just thought I'd order them out of curiosity. And just in case, because I've never ordered from this company before, you know, um, just in case I ordered one and it arrived and it's broken or, you know there was something wrong with it I thought if I ordered two you know it just given the cost it was worth it just as a bit of a contingency really so these are the lasers then I say they're very very powerful they've got this little thing on here look you can just push this to one side and that basically covers the just covers a little button there look so that's what enables you to light the thing up so we'll just put that back for a moment then So if you've got this in your pocket or something, it just stops the thing lighting up. So you can use this in a couple of different ways. This thing here, I don't know what the technical term for it, but this, I was going to call it a nozzle. It's not really a nozzle, but anyway, this fitment on the end here, this gives the laser the ability to spread the otherwise fine beam. And you can make loads of different pretty patterns with this. So that's quite interesting. If you don't have this on, then you're relying on this one here. And basically, you know, when you shine the thing up, it just emits 
a very narrow but very powerful beam, the sort of thing you'd expect from a laser. Now these can be quite dangerous, um, you know you certainly don't want to point these at people's eyes um, because I suppose it could potentially blind them and you don't want to point them in the eyes of animals or anything like that. Now I know people do use these for hunting, I'm not in, into hunting at all, I absolutely love animals and I abhor that sort of stuff. So, um, but anyway, um, so yeah, I'm sure you can uh, take this bit off as well. Now I'm not going to start dismantling this and um, faffing around with it too much, but there is actually a way of modifying these and you can make them either less powerful or you can make them more powerful. And by making them more powerful, you're actually able to increase the power of the laser beam, um, so much so that it actually burns. You know, you can burn stuff, you can burn a match, you can pop balloons and all that good stuff, okay? You can light a candle, and it is possible to do it with these. I mean, these are powerful lasers. And I just thought, as I say, I'd just buy them out of curiosity, really, just to find out what the fuss is about. I've never had a laser before. Um, and just to see whether or not there is actually a use for these. Now, I have taken some footage already, and, you know, they, they're really quite remarkable insofar as you can produce some really lovely light displays with one of these. If you take the same bit off, the narrow laser beam, it shines a hell of a distance, and it's really, really powerful. It's quite surprising, really. But... I was wondering really whether or not there is actually a use for this sort of thing. So I'm just going to reset the camera and just show you one of these in action.